Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. Now today I'm gonna to be showing you step by step how you can find businesses who do not yet have a website. Now I was asked a question a couple of weeks ago how I find businesses who don't have a website. And I'll be honest, it's not actually something that I do. I prefer working with established businesses and those that already know the value of a website. And in my experience, I've actually found that having conversations with people that don't have a website often don't see the value in having a site and therefore it's a bit more difficult to sell um, or it comes down to the fact that they can't afford your services. The reason they don't have a website is because they essentially can't afford someone to build it or, or they can't afford to host it or something like that. Um, but that doesn't mean to say that it wouldn't work for you and it doesn't mean to say that you should not reach out to these types of businesses. I'm just saying that I personally don't. Now, the purpose of this video today is to show you guys how you can find businesses who do not yet have a website, how you can find contact information and essentially reach out to them and pitch them your services. Now, if you haven't caught last week's video, I'll show you step by step how to find businesses, find a business owner, the right person to contact and extract their contact details. So make sure you go and check that video out as well. I'll try and link up to it somewhere. Now, before we move on to the screen, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Hit the bell notification as well and you'll be notified of any future releases. There's loads of content on this channel now and there's loads more to come that you are going to find valuable. Also, give it a thumbs up. It will help the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, I'd really like it if you guys could drop me down a comment. Let me know if you are reaching out to businesses that haven't yet got a website if you are tell me how you're doing it let me know down in the comments how you are managing to find businesses that don't have a website now let's jump onto the screen and show you how to do this so i often tell people to go to google and search for the type of business that they want to work with and maybe a location and then start scrolling through the list of entries so we're going to do a similar thing here so if i search for plumbers I'm just going to go near me so I live in Exeter which is a UK city so essentially the traditional way that I suggest people do it is to just scroll through this list go down to page four and you know find a business that you want to work with however if they don't have a website they're not going to be in this list but where they will appear is if you click maps Sometimes a business still registers with Google Business and gets himself a local Google Business listing and still doesn't have a website. So if we were to scroll through this list here, for example, there we go. We've got Total Plumbing and Heating. You can see that each of these have a website because they've got a little website badge. This one doesn't, so this would indicate to me that they don't yet have a website, so you could explore that further. Now, there's no email address here, so you wouldn't be able to email them, but what you can do is give them a phone call because there is a phone number there, so super beneficial. If we scroll down a little further, there we go, there's another one. That doesn't have any reviews, so whether you'd wanna reach out to that one, um, it's totally up to you. Uh, I tend to recommend reaching out to credible businesses that have positive reviews because that makes your job easier. It's easier for you to promote a business that's already doing well and the website's just going to help them do better essentially uh, so let's just go on to page two and see how many roughly there are in the first couple of pages there we go alpine heating and plumbing another one it's a mobile number there as well which is super super useful you know that's going to go straight through to the business owner chances are they're not going to have a gatekeeper or, or a receptionist or a pa or anything like that uh, handling their mobile phone so yeah that is one way. The second way that I recommend you do this is through Facebook. So very similar approach. We could go and search for plumbers. Uh, let's go Exeter. I'm located in Exeter. And then from here, you want to scroll down to play, uh, pages. Cool. So here's the first one. If we hover over that you can see that there is a URL here. So this tells me that they already have a website because they've included the link on their Facebook page. So we can just move on down. So if we hover over this one, this also has a website. Rob's Plumbing Services, that one has a website. Uh, this one has a website. That one has a website. That has a website. So, 
you know, there's not many here. There are a lot more. They're, they're much more difficult to come by than those that obviously have a website. There's not many businesses that don't these days. There we go. There's one. So ASB Plumbing Services. There's no URL there, so that would suggest to me that they don't have a website. So that's something that you could explore a little bit further. See if there's any more on here. Cool, CPS Plumbing, there you go. There's another one without a URL. So you could essentially click on here, visit the page, see if there's any more content. So you've got a mobile number here, which is perfect. You could reach directly out to them and you could drop them a message. You could direct message them and try and start strike up and start a conversation with them. So yeah, that's two ways. The third way that I recommend is using uh, a business directory. So here I'm using Yell, which is probably the UK's largest um, business directory. Um, don't quote me on that. Um, but essentially, within the UK, we used to all get a huge yellow phone book, like it was that thick. And it was just full of all local businesses. And then obviously they took their business online and got rid of the book. Um, but it's a great place to go to try and locate businesses. And if we were to, for example, to search, if we go plumbers again, and if we do Devon, so Devon's the county that I live in. So if we search that, cool, you'll see here that we've got listings of businesses within the industry and the locational area that I've selected. Now there's three options on this top one that allows me to get in contact with that business. So email, website, and you can drop them a call. So similar to Facebook, what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down and we are gonna look for the, each of the businesses that does not have this website option here. So if we keep scrolling down, there we go, so here is one here. No website, but you've got the opportunity to email them and you've got the opportunity to call them. So if we go down a little further. Cool, MB Plumbing, there you go. There is another one and like 15 years with Yale. They're obviously getting a lot of business through Yale, um, but still a website to them is gonna be hugely beneficial, you know, if they don't have a website, it makes them look less credible. People might judge them. Uh, there's so much value in having a website these days. So there's, there's loads of ways that you could pitch your website services to people that do not have a business. Um, so it does not have a website. Um, but just bear in mind that they might not wanna spend as much money as you are charging on a website. Um, I never recommend that you drop your prices just to make a sale. Don't, don't work for pennies or don't work for free. Um, make sure that you are charging a good price for your service. Um, but yeah, essentially three ways there that you can start reaching out to businesses. And if you are, let's say, based in the US, for example, what you wanna do is just Google search um, a business directory within your local area or within the country and start finding businesses through there. If you are from the UK, use Yale. It's gonna be a great place for you to start. So you've got Yale or a business directory as an option. You've got Facebook and you've got Google My Business. There's three ways that you can start locating businesses and finding those that do not have a website. Now guys, if you haven't yet checked out last week's video, go and check it out. We are showing you how you can locate businesses that you wanna work with on Google, how you can find the business owner's name and how you can extract their contact information so you can implement that information into your lead list and then reach out to them however way you wish. Now, if you found this valuable, please do give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And it helps the YouTube algorithm. It helps other people find my content. Hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already and hit the bell notification too and you'll be notified of all future releases. There's loads of videos on this channel now that are designed to help you up your website design game and improve your business. So go and check those out. The end screen is coming up. There's gonna be a video there waiting for you that you're gonna find beneficial. So check that out. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.